Saratoga Springs has been surviving the poor economy along with many other cities the same size, but the challenge is getting more difficult. The directors of the Downtown Business Association have been meeting recently looking for answers for the group's members. One person described it as September fell off the face of the earth. Is that anywhere near accurate? Well, we mirror the general economy in the nation and with a 9.2 percent unemployment rate, things are tough everywhere. So things are down a little bit in town. There's no question about it. But but it's down more than just the end of the race season. It's down more it than is. it usually yeah. is. Yeah, it's it's down it's down to a measurable degree for some owners. September was very slow after the track ended, uh, but the weather was abysmal. You know, you think we had the the residuals from the floods and then the tornado and the earthquake, and and the economy. I think people are just being very very careful. We're working very very hard. To, to keep our business afloat. We've been here for 33 years. You know, we're not going anywhere, but it's tough. And then there's the former Borders location where there hasn't been any business at all since the store closed in April. According to Clark, there have been people who have expressed interest in leasing some of the space there. But according to Clark, the owner doesn't want to cut any deals until all of the space is rented. There's already space available farther up Broadway and more will open up after this children's clothing store closes. Some spaces are filling up. Swedish Hill Winery wanted to open in summer, but only got its license two weeks ago. So we have two stores that have been, we opened in Lake Placid about 12 years ago. They did really well for us and we figured they do well, so we might as well give Saratoga a shot. I mean, that's, this place is good, if not better than Lake Placid. So. We, uh, we, we figured we'd give a shot, and so far, so good. The DBA president predicts a boost from promoting December's 25th annual Victorian stroll, but he also expects business owners will be reassessing, cutting costs, and possibly cutting employees. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.